welcome back to my channel. I'm Muriel, this nurse Muriel. So my new subbies, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. I'm Muriel, I'm a registered nurse of five years. Right? To my oldies but goodies, hey y'all, welcome back. Um, thank y'all so much for the warm greetings on my last video. It was my first time back. Um, after oh, a little over a month, I took a, I'm not even gonna say a sabbatical, I just had stopped filming for a while because I just, felt I didn't have much to say, but anyway, I'm happy to be back, and I miss talking to you guys, I was looking at the comments, everybody was welcoming back, and thank you, some of my day ones, I saw that, that just a comment, just about all the videos, I really appreciate y'all taking the time, and watching the videos and comment, so yeah, I'm heading y'all to the water company, I got my water bill the other day, and for some reason, for one month, my water bill is $238, and I'm hoping this is a misprint, because my water bill, I get billed monthly here um, for water, and my water bill normally runs around $78 a month, which is, I guess, is not bad, considering there's so many people in, our, in my household, but for some reason, for one month, they're showing my bill is $238. And um, I'm going to need them to put some type of understanding. <laughs> like, they're going to have to make me understand what went on in the month of July. That my water is $238. So I'm heading downtown, which I hate going down here because it's paid parking. It's hard to find parking spaces. I try my best to never have to come down here. Um, you got to always make sure you got a quarter or two <laughs> when you come. And I've, I've lived here in this city for over 10 years, yeah, a little over 10 years. I've come to this water company once. And after that, I said never again. I pay online and I, I pay over the phone and I pay the extra, I think it's like an extra $4 to pay. I also do that with, I pay just about everything online. I don't make any payments on anything really in person, I don't think. You know, those extra fees, I guess I would say they add up, but all in all, the gas it would cost me to come drive to these places, I, I'd rather just pay the extra fee. And, and I know they're going to try to tell me something about a leak or something. You know, they always like to throw them lines at you. Oh, it must be a leak or this and that, but y'all, I don't have no leaks. I did have some plumbing issues, but the plumbing issues wasn't anything dealing with water consumption. It was dealing with my pipes that um, come apart under my kitchen sink, and I got the plumber to come and fix those. Alright, y'all, so I am back. I left the water company, and they told me that I must have a leak or, well, she was able to look at my consumption from day to day and she saw where I was, there was like water continuously flowing nonstop in my house and she said when she sees that she automatically thinks toilet and so I'm going to my house because I use, I have a, um, my house is a, I have two and a half baths. So two of the toilets I do use, which is the toilet, the bathroom in my room, and then the half bath that's downstairs when I'm rushing in the house and have to go. I use the one downstairs. So I know that there's no problem with that toilet. But one of the bathrooms I very rarely ever use at all. Like I might use it twice a year and that's my boy's bathroom. And that's only, and I only use that if one of my girls are in my bathroom and I have to really go real bad. So I'm gonna check that bathroom to see if there's something going on with toilet they gave me these toilet tabs um to put in my tank and they said if i sit it in the tank and wait 15 minutes if the water in the toilet is blue that means i have a leak but yes my bill was 230 something dollars for that one month y'all they put a hold on my account as far as they said that i can't get disconnected or any late fees or some other type of fees for 30 days i'm still responsible for that 230 dollars bill if it's something on my end say like a toilet or something like that which is really disappointing y'all because that when i say y'all that's like four times what my bill is normally a month for my water bill i wasn't banking on that but anyway i'm heading to walmart to pick up my grocery order now i received a subscriber question thank y'all thank you thank you thank you um, if y'all don't know, y'all can send any questions y'all have concerning nursing um, to nursebrain1 at gmail.com. That's one as the number one, nursebrain1. And I will try to answer them here online um, to the best of my ability. With this subscriber, says so she's a new grad, our, a new grad LPN, and she was watching my acute care versus long-term care video, and she has been offered three different jobs. She's been offered three different 
jobs. One is outpatient endoscopy, one is long-term care, one is the hospital. And she wanted to know which one do I recommend for a new grad to learn skills but not be so stressed. Now, y'all, I can only give my opinion on these. And if y'all have an opinion, y'all can give the opinion down below as well. Maybe you can help her out on making a decision. Um, uh, y'all know I, I wholeheartedly believe that if unless you plan to return for your RN, I don't see a purpose uh, for an LPN to work in a hospital. Now, that's just me. I, that's me. That's me. I don't see the purpose of working in the hospital as an LPN unless you plan to return for your RN and you want to get your skills up. Because there, although there are skills that you will learn in the hospital, there are also things that you will not be allowed to do in the hospital being an LPN. And some, some people, it doesn't bother them. But for me, when I was an LPN in the hospital, it bothered me to have the XRNs to do anything for me. And that's the reason why I left the hospital as an LPN. But that may not be a bothersome to some. There are other benefits of working at the hospital. Like benefits, the benefits are usually pretty good. The pay is not that good. That's a downfall for it. But if you plan to return to school for your RN, then I will say go to the hospital. That would be um, that would be best for skills, not stress level. I'm gonna tell you, it is stressful. It was stressful to me as a. It was. I'm gonna say that depending on the the depending on the level of the hospital. So if it's like a level three or level two hospital, it may not be as stressful. Because I have worked in a, I've worked in a level three hospital and it wasn't as stressful. Um, I did a level three on my assignment when I did that um, travel assignment, and I did a level three as an LP, and it was not stressful, y'all, at all. Um, when I did, when I worked at staff at the R, as a, when I worked staff as an RN at the level one trauma facility, yeah, I was stressed the hell out. Okay, and stress is subjective. I will say to the person. And I may not have been as stressed if I wasn't as old as I may not have been as stressed if it wasn't I wasn't as old as I am. And I'm gonna be honest if I wasn't as heavy as I am. Now I don't like to attribute, attribute things to my weight because I can work circles in long-term care around I'm gonna say anybody. I'm gonna just be honest at this point. And at long-term care, you're working with many more patients than you will have in um, acute care. And I honestly, I will say I'm probably, yeah, I, I can really work circles around anybody in long-term care. I'm going to just say that and just be honest about it at this point. But in the hospital, it just was so stressful to me. And I don't know, I just left there. My ankles was hurting bad. Like my hip would hurt sometimes. I just, I'm just not a, a, a fan of acute care. But you will get the skill as an LPN in the hospital stress level I can't account for what your stress level would be to me it's very stressful to others it's not um, outpatient endoscopy is something and any outpatient surgical or outpatient place I have never done outpatient so I cannot say um, I would assume your skills that you would obtain there would be skills focused on endoscopic care uh, procedures that can that are performed endoscopically or you know so I don't know exactly what skills you would obtain working there but I am going to assume the level of stress is very low because I have never I have never heard anyone complain about working at an outpatient um, outpatient surgical or ortho whatever outpatient I've never heard anyone complain of working in an outpatient um, setting never and I have worked with people who work in outpatient settings and I've never heard anyone complain about it so I will say the level of skills you obtain may not be to your liking or what you want to obtain but your stress level I would say would be probably low and I don't know about the pay there I'm thinking the pay would be comparable to what you make in the hospital and I didn't focus I didn't talk I think I said a pay in the hospital would probably be pretty low for an LBN I'm gonna be honest about that um, compared to what you can make in other settings, the pay in the hospital will probably be pretty low. Now, long-term care, I can talk to you all day about long-term care. Some find it stressful. A lot of people find it stressful. I don't find it as stressful, but most people that I have talked to and the feeling that I get from people is that they find it very stressful. You know, I've had days in long-term care where 
before, okay, I'm gonna put it like this. Before I became an RN, when I learned work long-term care in the nursing home, although even then I probably could work circles around a lot of the nurses, I found the redundancy of it to be boring, not so much stressful, more boring. But I, I quickly came out of that once I started working in acute care. I ran back to long-term care for that boring and redundancy. I ran back because I was so stressed in acute care. And it's to the point where I don't get stressed in long-term care as far as the work itself. What stresses me in long-term care is my coworkers. I've said that several times. My coworkers have been so lazy. A lot of them have been so lazy. That's what stressed me. The patient load doesn't stress me. The acuity of care doesn't stress me. It's my coworkers being lazy that stresses me. Let me check in to get my order, y'all. Okay, y'all, I checked in. So yeah, so for long-term care, some people find it stressful. A lot of people find it stressful, a lot. I don't find it stressful, so I may be a little biased in my opinion, but I will say, as a new grad LPN, I'ma say you'll be stressed, because so far, it's from what I can tell, a lot of people are stressed in long-term care. So I'm just gonna say you'll probably be stressed too. Um, the pay is much better and you will probably not get the skills you're seeking although as a new grad LPN you will get those starter skills like you will learn time management which comes in handy in the hospital you will learn what medications are and what they are for you will learn um, I would say you would learn how to read lab le levels, although you probably will learn that better in the hospital because there are many more, there are, uh, you probably will learn that more in the hospital. Um, and you'll learn how to interact with, uh, in, uh, in the nursing homes they're called residents, but you'll learn how to interact with residents and family members. But outside of that, long-term care is really totally different than the hospital. But the hot, the hot, long-term care, I feel like can prepare people for the hospital because of the number of patients you're you're dealing with um i don't know i really don't know y'all i i don't know so i don't want to tell you which one to start with i would say if you want to start slow start out with the outpatient endoscopy um facility to just as a new grad just to get your feet in the door although they probably are paying I don't know where you're located, and I would think that they might be paying like $25 an hour, maybe $28, which is not bad at all. And I'm hoping you're getting at least $27, I'm hoping, an hour in this economy, which is not bad. If you're making more than that, I would say jump on it, okay? Um, you will learn some skills, not probably not a whole lot, but you will learn some skills. I will say for my nephew, who's been an LPN a little over a year, I think he's been an LPN about 18 months, he just started a job, he walks through the door at $35 an hour, and that's the, that's the, um, that's his rate of pay before any differentials or anything, and we're in the Southeast, y'all, so that's, that's good money, like, I wasn't even making 35 an hour as a new red RN, and he's been an LP for 18 months, and he's at $35 an hour, so, yeah, but, experience, um, skills you pretty much won't get stress level you pretty much will get pay will be your best driving force in long-term care i will say and the and the redundancy of knowing your patients and and learning your patients and not having so many changes like when you're working in the hospital every day it can be something different if you're like me and you're like you more so want to deal with the familiar then yeah long-term care would be a good fit but like i said for skills and for or, um, stress level, it's probably a no-go for long-term care. Um, there are very, like I said, there are very few and far RNs who would work on long-term care, and I feel like a lot of LPNs who work it work it by default because they at one point weren't hiring, hiring LPNs anymore in the hospital, and they want the pay. They want the pay, but they don't want the stress. But they rather deal with the pay versus their own mental health because being stressed affects your mental health i don't care what anybody says um being stressed affects your mental health so they'd rather deal with getting the pay to have their mental health diminished <laughs> that's the way i see it that's the only reason i can see it um yeah that's the way i see it but thank you for that question i'm not going to say who you are because you may not want people to know who you are but that's my take on it so 
Overall, I would say go to the outpatient endoscopy facility. Then work, if you plan to become an RN, work your way into the hospital after that. But I would say take the outpatient endoscopy um, facility just to get your feet wet. It, it'll be less stressful. And you might even like it. You might just stick with it. You may just stick with it. Um, yeah, you may just stick with it. So, y'all, I picked my groceries up. I am... I want to go out to eat. My homegirl, she picked up a shift, so she's not able to go. But I guess I'll just go home and eat me some strawberries, y'all. I'm trying to lose this weight again. So... It is what it is. I'll go home and eat me some strawberries and make me a salad and just relax until it's time to go to work later. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's been a short one. I was rambling, didn't really say too much. I hope you can pick up a little nuggets out of what I did say. And my next video, it'll probably be a video showing you how my weekend went. Like I said, I do plan to step out this weekend and have a little fun. So I'll try my best to record that for you guys. And yeah, thank y'all for viewing. Bye.